when it looked impossible, they come back and they are able to win it. Based on our boot camp and all that, I expect us to win. I wouldn't be satisfied with anything less. When we go into a match, we determine the composition depending on what map and who our opponents are. If we know they favor certain heroes, we try to adapt our comp. Misfits coming in at the last moment. Will they win the EU side of this? On game day, I don't feel the need to practice an enemy team. Just go quick play and it's good enough. Who is the best player at your favorite hero? Can I say myself? <laughs> Thank you.
the way that Nepal works is that both teams will be fighting for control of a center point. They control it for a long time, they get percentage points as they do it, and then finally, after a certain period of time, you'll get to 100% and you will win the point. But both teams will be fighting back and forth for control. And what you can expect is more skirmishes coming out from the two sides where there's more fights, they happen more quickly, there's less setup, and sometimes it's just pure carnage. Yeah, now going into a control point map, you look to see, you know, the aggressive play, right? And uh, I'm really looking at, you know, Taimu and Tailspin on the side of Envy. I think those players need to be very good for them, you know, able to take out the players in the back line, obviously able to get the supports out for the side of Misfits. Now you see some of the comps that we're going to see here as we get into map number two here of the E-League Overwatch. Watch open grand finals from the Turner Studios in Atlanta, Georgia. It's going to be Misfits up 1-0 against Team Envious. And uh, just looking at the composition from both teams, ZP, what stands out to you? Well, what stands out is that Envious is running the Roadhog and Taimu. They're not running a McCree. This is one of his favorite heroes. They're going to be looking for the early pickoffs. Don't always see a Roadhog here on maps like Nepal, but Envious has the belief that they can make it work. And look at that, a big hook immediately taking down Edan, showing why Taimu is so good at this hero. And you see the power of Roadhog as Taimu picks up two. He's a tank who deals tons of damage, and he's able to unleash those hooks, pick players out from the enemy back line, and Taimu picks up three. Envy takes the point with ease. And you know, Roadhog, we, we don't see him often, but when we do, he's very aggr aggressive and very effective. And you see time when he plays on the better Roadhogs in the game. Roadhog can throw out his hook every six seconds, so even after he throws it out, you can take chances like that where he didn't even see anyone but was hoping someone would run in. But here comes Misfits, rolling in. Pulse Bomb coming out from soon, trying to explode the back line. Barely able to get out of the range of that hook, and Envy is going to the back line as this is happening. Tailspin just starting in and about, doing all sorts of damage, and Envy in a much better spot for this fight. Yeah, and Tailspin just trying to stay alive on this trace. They're gonna drop down a big pulse bomb, but he's gonna drop quickly after that. So now control the point is going to go over towards Misfits. A very good break for them. And you see Crew not going to be running Zarya like we talked a little bit about. It's going to be Nevix going on Zarya, and you're going to see Crew going to be running Reaper. It's very interesting that they don't put soon on Reaper with how good he's been throughout the tournament. I think this just shows how versatile Misfits is and also how much they need soon on the Tracer. He is the best Tracer player on Misfits, so when he's not on the Reaper, he's going to be on Tracer, and they have to put someone else in in turn. But here comes Mi uh, Misfits, moving right into Envy. The Pulse Bomb is out, going to be saved by the Sound Bearer, and soon just rolling into the back line. The Graviton setting him up. It is carnage right now. Both teams trading out kills, and Envy versus Misfits, about 3v3 here on the point, as it is still back and forth. Oh, and you see how difficult a good Tracer can be to deal with. Tailspin able to finally take out soon, but Tracer able to just blink in and out of combat. She uses also a recall ability, where she's just gonna warp back three seconds, gain the health pool back. Envy, though, gets control of that point. So now you have ults building for the side of Envy. You have Tailspin with the Pulse Bomb, Chips with the Nano Boost, Internet Hulk on Zarya, getting very close to that Graviton. So look, if he drops that, lumps all those players together, that Pulse Bomb of Tailspin coming in. Misfits opening up here with the Transcends, keeping everyone alive with that AoE healing. But Coco turning right back, the Graviton is in, and Tailspin with the follow through will be taking them out. That is the Pulse Bomb Graviton combo where Zarya brings everyone together and Tracer explodes them with a big boom. And now it's going to be Envy taking control of this high ground, ZP. Why is it so advantageous to hold this position they're in? The high ground can be difficult for teams to go against. There are points where you can counter punch, but it sort of gives Envious a better point of view on the map and gives Taimu more room to work with on the hooks. But here comes Misfits. They are rolling in once more. And Coco able to get the first kill on the crew immediately. Four quick picks for Envious and Misfits going to be sent back again. Yeah, and you can see the idea that Misfits was going for, right? You know, Rib jumps in on Winston, just tries to cause chaos on the Envy side of things, forces them out of that advantageous position on top. But Taimu able to take care of business take out that Winston of the opponent, and after that, Misfits push falls apart. It's gonna be Envy inching closer to taking this first control point, and now it's gonna be at 99. All they need is one more percentage to get there, and it's going to be a big hook there from Taimu. Able to take out Nevix. He's gonna go whole hog on the opponent, but he's going to be hit with that Pulse Bomb up soon. You see, Rib is going to go with that Primal Rage of Winston. That's Winston's ultimate ability. He goes into a Hulk mode, just starts tossing opponents everywhere, right? at the final seconds, Misfits gets a break. They have to hold this point for the rest of time left to take this first point here. And I know control point maps, DP, they're going to be played in the best of five scenarios. So even if Misfits were to take this first point, the map is not over. They're going to need to get two more. 
And that was a great comeback by Misfits. They had the roll in there. They didn't have the advantage just waiting. Time was on the clock, but they must win every fight from here on out. Crew over the top, has Death Blossom at the ready. Gonna look to drop right down. Graviton tries to set him up, but he had the Wraith form early on the fight. Still though, Misfits rolling into that Graviton. They take out a quick three. Look at this, Envy trying to get on the point while this is going on. It's not successful, and Misfits now in the driver's seat. Envious at the point where if they lose the next fight, they're going to lose this round. And this is scary for Envy because Misfits has some very good ultimate abilities to work with. You know, we talked about the Pulse Bomb of Tracer on Soon, but he didn't has that transcendence on Zenyatta. He uses that support ult and it just heals everybody in that area for great effect and they're not able to die. And you see Crew up top trying to go with the Death Blossom. He's going to get hooked by Taimu, but Taimu not able to finish him off. It's going to be Crew going in a Wraith Form, chasing down Taimu, knows how big of a target that Roadhog is. 99-99 right now. Can Misfits complete the comeback? Everybody falls for Envy and it's going to be Misfits taking our first point. That is a heartbreak for Envious. They came out so strong. It took a miracle effort from Misfits to come back in, roll it to their advantage. And you want to talk about the X Factor of the game. We talked about it earlier, saying that it was Sue. Sue definitely proving that with some phenomenal tracer play to open that wide, wide open. Hey, shout out to Kenny S. Watching at home, sets an alarm for the finals here, obviously supporting his Envy teammates. They find themselves down, though, in this series right now to the Cinderella story of the event, Misfits, from the EU side of the bracket. ZP, what could Envy have changed up there in that first point to take advantage of the composition of Misfits? Really? I don't think they need to change too much there. They opened up the game very, very strong in terms of how they set it up. I just think they failed on the execution part where that once they lost the point, they weren't really able to retake it. All they really need to do is win one more fight, so I think it just came down to execution there. Yeah, and it's going to be Envious staying with that same team composition here. They're going to be running two, three tanks, actually. It's going to be Internet Hulk on the Winston. He's going to drop first. It's going to be Rib able to pick up that kill for the side of Misfits. Soon, though, going to get hooked. He was actually put to sleep there. That's an ability in Anna's kit there, so the support's making some big plays for the side of Envy. Taimu trying to stay alive, connects with the hook on the Nevix, but needs to regenerate his health pool. Now that's one of Roadhog's you know, best abilities, I think. You know, he's able to just take that canister, put it right up to his mouth, fill his fat belly up with some more health, and then push back towards the point. All right, Taimu right now still in this fight. He is looking for an extra pickup. Fine suit, stops the Tracer from blinking away. And now this is looking good for NP. They're cleaning out the remainder of Misfits on the point. They are filling up that bar, and they will be getting first control here on the second round of the ball. This is what happened, though, in the first point. It was Envy getting control early, and Misfits coming up with some big plays late to take it over. Envy does have a lot of ultimates to work with. Look to see Coco use that Graviton Surge. You can combine it with either Whole Hog of Roadhog on time with Taimu running that. Or Tailspin could use that Pulse Bomb. There comes the Graviton Surge. You see, actually, coming from the backside, that was Tailspin using that Pulse Bomb. Was not able to pick anybody else up with it, but he gets one. The rest of the kills picked up by Envy. It's going to be Harry Hook with one, Internet Hulk with another. Envy with a fantastic hold here, ZP, on Misfit's first attempt to break. And Envy actually holds on to a lot of ultimate abilities. I mean, they only use Tailspin's Pulse Bomb and that Graviton Surge of Zarya. So a pretty good win there for Envy. Things worked out very well for Envy. They were able to stay ahead on alt economy. They're still going to have Nano Boost for the next fight. They have Sound Barrier, which is important, but so does Misfits. Misfits, they drop their own Sound Barrier. They're going to roll into Envy to start things out. Taimu with the counter Whole Hog, pushing them back with the power of this, sending Winston on a ride. It's three kills here from Envy, and they are holding back the Misfits once more, 60% to zero. And just to remind people on win conditions here, each team must win three rounds to take this map. So Envy looking to turn this from a best out of five for them to a best out of three. And Internet Hulk with a little bit of style there at the end. Yeah, and Taimu actually goes whole hog there. It's a very good ultimate ability. You're actually able to put down a lot of damage, and it forces players just out of the point. It just pushes them so far back. Tail's been trying to stay alive inside of the point here. He's going to have a friendly sound barrier drop down. Oh, recalls right into his own pulse bomb. Soon's going to be able to get two for the side of Misfits, and here comes their assault again, a lot like what we saw in the first point. It was Envy early, and then it was Misfits late. Misfits gets 
control here, ZP. Can they muster up some more magic? Just remember that for Misfits, that was a must-win fight for them. And every fight from here on out is also must-win if they want to take this round. Envious only need take one more fight to take control of this and even things up. And do you take a look at Coco? He does have Graviton at the ready for Envious. They do have the Nano Boost, and they're going to roll right in. Soon, though, getting caught by Taimu. What a hook to start that up. Three very fast kills from Envious, and X, this is looking very good for them. Uh, Envy just combines a lot of ultimate abilities there. You see Coco with a perfect Graviton Surge. Envy gets control of the point, inching closer towards taking this second control point here, and it's gonna tie the score up at one apiece. So you mentioned it before, ZP, the first team to win three will win the map. Envy with a fantastic push there late. Envy definitely not going quietly, definitely not giving Misfits exactly what they want because I gotta tell you, just from morale, if Misfits had won that round and gone up, it would have been huge. And I love the crowd here we have in the Turner Studios. You know, I worked in a lot of large venues before, but the excitement of all these Overwatch fans here has been amazing. Some awesome stuff to see the best teams in the world. Misfits representing EU, Envy representing North America. Battle it out here on the big stage for the majority share of $300,000. As we prepare for the next point here on Nepal, ZP, what do you think of these team compositions coming in? You see Soon going back to the Reaper. The biggest thing that we're seeing here is that May is coming out, and why is that? This particular control area has very tight corridors where May's wall split off the MB squad like Misfits wants them to be split, and right now Internet Hulk is moving in. Oh no! See Internet you later, buddy. That was an unforced error. He fell off into the pit. And Nevix right now looking control with that ice wall. Tailspin might have just went to reset here as Envy. They might back out and concede this to Misfits. Yeah, and it's gonna be Time Who alive for Envy. Oh, oh Seal. Oh, is he still on? He's still going He's on. actually able to stay on the map. That is unreal. Out of Zoom there. Time Who definitely thought he hooked him into the pit. Not the case. Soon comes in. Gets his revenge on Taimu. Says, not today, son, as it's gonna be soon. Getting on to the point. He's gonna have that Death Blossom. Let's see if he decides to use it. He's going to back out, trying to regen some more HP. Now he flies in, able to get one. Harry Hook drops. He's gonna get nano boosted. Gonna pick up a second, and he's gonna chase down the third. Oh, it's gonna be Chips with a nice sleep dart. Taimu with a hook, getting some revenge. Envy right now still in the rough spot where they have to take control of this point. Even as both teams are contesting, if you notice, Misfits is still gaining percentage points. This is totally okay for Misfits to be losing people so long as they can continue the fight on the point. But Envious, they have to back out. They're going to regroup once more. And you take a look at what they have coming up. They do have a pulse bomb, but they might not have really much else in this fight. Misfits well positioned to take the next fight away from Envy. And Taimu is going to switch off of Roadhog. He's going to go on to McCree. So that tells me that they feel like they need a little bit more range damage. McCree is so good at that. It's McCree's biggest strength. You're going to see Nevix coming through. He's going to drop down a Blizzard. Sound Barrier out for the side of Misfits as well. So they're going to get a little bit of a bonus in the terms of shielding. Taimu, though, you see in the kill feed at a distance, able to pick up one on that McCree. You're going to see big plays, though, going down inside the point for Misfits. And although Envy, you know, picking up some kills in the feed in terms of Taimu on McCree, it's going to be Misfits holding on to the point. But look at Envy right now. Taimu getting some very key late kills. Envy is going to be responding a little bit quicker as a result. And now Taimu might have just opened the door for Envious. Take a look at their numbers advantage as they roll in. That's entirely because Taimu was able to clutch out those three picks towards the end. Soon finding himself without a team, without a hope. Everyone on Envy rolling in. Going to get that pick off and delay Misfits all the more. And if you're Misfits, how do you go about breaking this? You see the dead eye coming in there from Taimu, not able to get anybody. But what is the mindset of Misfits right now? How are they going to attack this? For Misfits, if I were them, I would try and do something here where you drain the ultimates of Envy, bank your own ultimates. They have a lot of room to work with here. All they have to do is win one more fight to win this round, but here comes Graviton coming up for Envy. Pulls in four. Misfits trying to stay alive during this tailspin. Did not get quite what he was looking for. It is 5v5 right now, and Misfits still has a chance to take this internet health with the nano boost, desperately just trying to cleave and do damage to the fight, but oh! He activates Primal right to save himself, not going into the pit just yet, and juggling crew like a ragdoll. Yeah, and he is just sending crew for a ride right now. Crew trying to stay alive and he's doing a fantastic job on Zarya you see finally though internet hulk draining crew's health pool going to be able to secure the kill it's going to be rib and zebesai inside the point for misfits it's going to be rib getting that nano boost and i don't know cp if you use that in that situation because now you're not going to have it going into this next fight 
You're not going to have to go into the next fight. It was a bit of a waste. Soon, though, still trying to make things happen, was going for the Death Blossom, immediately denied. Taibu having none of it. And here's the important thing to note here. Misfits was able to recap there in a moment. Envy has less charge than they otherwise should have here, and Misfits truly won fight away from taking this. Yeah, Nevik switches over to Genji. So this is going to be the first time tonight we're going to see Genji brought out. Why do they switch over to that hero here? Why do they switch to Genji? It's the playmaker towards the end. Dragon Blade is really effective in this moment. It's a big ultimate that lets him do mega damage in melee range. But Tail's been opening up here, taking out Zebusai to start things out. Nevix rolling to the back, goes for the deflection, but is taken out by Coco's bomb from Zarya. And Envy is still with an edge right now. Yeah, and it's gonna be soon. The last one alive here for Misfits on the point, doing anything he can. But look at Envy, they are storming back here. ZP, 82% and climbing. They have that Graviton Surge, so we saw what Zarya could do with it before, where, you know, you set up a teammate here to pick up some kills. They don't have any other ultimates, but they could use it just to delay the push of Misfits. Yes, and for Misfits, this is do or die there out of Mulligans. They must go in, and Coco, as you were mentioning, he does have the Graviton up and ready. But look at Misfits, they're spread out. They're not giving him a great option as Nevix worked to back line. Cut up, gets slapped instead as Envy gets the first pick. Rolls right in, Sound Barrier out. Misfits in a bit of trouble, but the counter Sound Barrier is there and the momentum has shipped. Misfits last chance now to retake this point. Yeah, and you'll see Internet Hulk there on the Winston just jumping in the sky, trying to stay alive. Here comes Taimu, Nano boosted up on McCree. Flashbang, fan the hammer. It's gonna be soon though. Staying alive here for Misfits. Finally, they all, oh, he does not get taken out. He uses that recall, comes back onto the map, finally drops, and Envy takes their second point here. The fans here in the TBS studios in Atlanta, Georgia, definitely behind the boys in blue. They inch closer to taking map number two, tying up the series. And oh, look at that, a couple of baby Winstons watching the grand finals. Those plushies are great. They're some of the most adorable merchandise that you can get. And yeah, just looking at this right now, really, this was pretty rough for Misfits for a while. Envy was able to retake it, put it back in their favor, and now it's Misfits on the hot seat because if they lose the next round, Envious will take this map and even up the overall series one to one. I feel like every time, though, Misfits has had their backs against the wall, they muster up a big answer and come back with a vengeance. Let's see if they can do it here against Envy. Envy trying to even up the odds. This reminds me a little bit of Envy's series with Fnatic earlier in the tournament on the NA side. Fnatic was able to get one map, then Envy stormed right back. Taimu switches off McCree, goes back to Roadhog. You like that selection on this one? I like the Roadhog in general. I think Taimu has been very effective on just far. And it's one of the few ways of shutting down soon, just like that. A quick pick up here for Taimu as Tailspin gets to work on the back line. Ta Taimu in the back, Tailspin in the front, and Envy getting the pick up. And he has another beautiful hook coming in from Taimu, setting the course for Envious. Oh, and Roadhog is such a fun hero to play. And you see why you're able to connect to those hooks, bring opponents close to you, able to put them away with his shotgun. Personally, I think, you know, as, as a player at home, you know, somebody who puts a ton of time into the game, when I'm playing competitive and I'm solo queuing, Roadhog is my go-to hero. And you see Thu playing a little bit out of position. You cannot poke out against Taimu. He's gonna make you pay for it as soon. He loses his life there early, and that is gonna disrupt the push of Misfits. Misfits, that is definitely going to delay them. Taimu has been hitting some beautiful hooks right now. Envious at 24%. It's a great start. Taimu might have bit off more than Gachu. Has to back off in a hurry. Misfits rolling in with all sorts of haste, but Envy coming right back in. They catch him off guard. They punish Nevix as Coco now. A charged up Zarya on the double kill. And Envy gonna win this fight once more as Riv goes on a sky trip. Yeah, and you see that whole hog coming out of Taimu just putting down tons of damage on the opponents. And what do you like about Roadhog ZP? You know, he's such a versatile hero. You know, he's a tank, but he also does tons of damage. The key thing about Roadhog is that he, more than anything else, he's also burst damage. It's one of the few ways of taking someone out immediately in the game and not let one of those great support characters keep them in the fight. Really, one of the only ways of dealing with it is a Zarya shield. So for Roadhog, it's about immediately putting your team up 6v5. Yeah, and you will see Zarya time to time as Tailspin drops down a bomb right there. You saw it a little bit for a second. Rib actually had a Zarya shield on him, and that actually protects your teammates from incoming damage and also charges Zarya's primary fire. She's able to do more damage per second because of that, but it's going to be a push from Misfits, stopped by the side of Envy. 80% for Envy, mounting towards a map to victory.
Envious has to be feeling this right now. If they win one more fight, they are almost certainly going to win this map and even up the series score. But look at Misfits. Their war chest is going up. They are going to have four ultimates when this fight begins. And Nevix looking to start things off with the Graviton to set up soon. Yeah, and you're going to see Tailspin just trying to come on a flying drop snap pulse bomb. It's going to be crew for the side of Misfits. Hit with that nano boost on a Reaper, but it does not look like he's able to get anything with it. It's going to be Zeb trying to stay alive for Misfits inside of the point. And you see Tailspin able to take him out. That's a huge kill for Envy, eliminating one of the supports for Misfits, but it's going to be Hedan up on Ana, able to heal the teammates from behind. Misfits with their backs against the wall, ZP, taking control of the point. And now they're starting to mount a percentage. Misfits must now find within themselves an iron defense. A single lost fight right now will lose them this map. Envious doesn't have much in their war chest right now. No ultimates are up, but the same basically goes for Misfits. They have a Primal Rage, that's it. This fight's going to be more by the books as Envious right now looking for the way to poke in. They don't immediately go right in, but a hook from Taimu comes in, doesn't pick off. Crew with the counter, Death Blossom in, takes down Tailspin. But Envious not to be denied. Taimu making a lot of space with that whole hog. Yeah, and that whole hog is able to just push players back. Taimu barely stays alive there. Got to shout out the supports for Envy. It's Harry Hook and Chips keeping him up. Soon is going to be sound barriered. Not today. Taimu connects with yet another hook. And now it is Envy pushing towards the point. You see the friendly Graviton surge there on Taimu's screen going to suck everybody into that four Misfits. Envy able to get a wipe. You see overtime, that bar dropping rapidly. Misfits needs to get towards the point. It is not going to happen. Envious will take map number two. Envious striking right back with Rossity. It was a little bit rough to begin the map, but they recovered. And now they have to be feeling a little bit better. It is anyone series. Yeah, what was the key for victory on the side of Envious in that map number two on Nepal? I would say more than anything else, Taimu's Roadhog. He was able to start out so many fights with a quick pickoff. Misfits wasn't able to get to their coordinating or coordination that we know them from. And it's gonna be Envy tying the series up 1-1 here against Misfits. Can they win this for North America? We'll find out right